Orange juice. Bean. Croissant. Fried egg. Sausage. Fried egg. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are opening up more Super Base Series 2 Popaganda Ron English Mick Super Sized Minis. If you haven't seen Series 1 yet, link is in the description somewhere. Uh, this is the big version, but the mini boxes contained variations of this little fat bastard. Also, new Paper Mario gaming video out on MaxMofo Games. Now, I think Series 2 of this set has more variations than the first one. Maybe even like double. Also, another thing I wanted to say before we hop into these, the breakfast intro. On my last video, I saw some comments pointing out that if you take the first letter of the food items that are floating by, in order, it spells out O-B-E-S-E. -E. Obese! <gasps> I saw those comments and I was like, no way. And I checked and, you know, there it is, but it was purely coincidence. I should have thought of doing something like that, but yeah, complete coincidence. I do want to keep adding breakfast items flying up to the roof for a little bit longer. I was never trying to spell anything out. I'm sorry to disappoint. All right, so these ones. Black bags. I think that's what we had on the first ones. We have a golden boy. Doesn't he look flashy? There we go. Gold hair, gold back, gold back fat rolls. Missing face. It's all here. And of course, we do have a couple of father figures for these young gentlemen that we will be seeing as we move forward here. Let's just break into these boxes. Sorry that I don't preserve the boxes. They're kind of hard to open. They don't fold open very easily. Up next, we have another gold boy. Don't worry, there is different ones. They're not all just gold. This is a half cut dissected gold ronald mcdonald so just like the first ones we are seeing the same sort of variations for the skeletal slicing and i will say there's a really shitty effort done on the bone shadowing it kind of adds a certain effect where it looks like sludge and it looks all nasty but with how high grade everything else is done for these figures, with how high grade everything else is done for these figures, it's a little bit of a letdown to see the skulls done like this. It might be on purpose. It might be something they're going for, but it's kind of nasty. All right, after this one, we'll take a look at one of their dads. Open up the black trash bag, get ready to slide him out. Who's it gonna be? He's, I see red boots. What's the top of the head? Another gold. I think I need to mix them up a little. So this one, Missing the middle of his body. And a little bit of a lazy effort. What the hell? Those are supposed to be burgers and they're just colored in like bone. Okay. Series two. You had me at some parts. Uh, you're losing me at others. Let me just bring in the corresponding colorway for this one for series one. This is what the middle burgers are supposed to look like. We have some burgers. These are bone burgers. Spooky. Okay, I think it's time for lunch break. I bought a packed lunch today, guys. Let's see what we have. Oh, no, it's a Ronald McDonald. They came in these little paper bags. All right, let's take a look at the bigger, much more expensive ones. So they have these cool mix supersized stands. You take his boots out of that. And here he is. He has some yellow eye paint underneath his eyes there, as opposed to the original one that has blue. And of course, we have this golden body. Kind of like a gold glitter effect, except it's very smooth, it's underneath. Whole thing's kind of nice. His gloves be gold. His golden arches pocket, black text, normal yellow. Uh, the original one had more of a gold and then red. All right, moving on. Let's get one from the bottom here. Come on, I know there's different ones. They're not all just gold boys. Here we go. Who's it gonna be? All right, what color? Is this one? <gasps> Ooh, a goth, Ronald McDonald. Very suited with the missing face. There we go, I like that. It's like a monochrome, very creepy version. Give him a little spin, and then let's move on to another box. Grab fun from the top there. Let's see if it's gonna be gold again. Open it up. Let's see, slide it out. This one. Oh, okay. They're a little mixed up in the box there. We've got a black one again, and again. 
I'm really not liking that you guys didn't put the effort in to make the burgers something. This could have just looked like an extra part of the sternum if you just, I don't know, I guess obviously you use the same mold and everything. But you can't just go back and go, oh yeah, they were supposed to be burgers, let's just paint them bone color. I like the makeup on these though. A very sad clown. All right, let's try grabbing one from the middle here. After this one, I've got another big surprise. I do owe you guys a bony SpongeBob, so we'll have a look at one of those. Let's open up this. Let's see which sad sack of bones slides out of this one. Oh, neon green shoes. There we go. That's kind of cool. That green really pops. It's the Joker. Not much more <laughs> to say, really. Besides. Bikini Bottom Spongebob! A while ago, uh, we did a bone Spongebob episode where we saw a bunch of these big ones and a bunch of tiny ones. But this Spongebob, fully bone, and I think he probably glows in the dark. Same little paper holder. You can see his skeleton actually has a bunch of cracks in it. Uh, let's see if he does glow in the dark. Hit the lights! No, he does not! Damn, I thought he would. He does look like glow-in-the-dark material. I love how you can see his bottom teeth through the bottom there. That's very creepy. Especially since you really only see these front two peg teeth. Alright, let's move on to another box. Grab one from the middle. Take off the skin. Take out the skeleton from within. And we have... Oh! Oh, right! I knew something was missing with the other one. I was thinking, it's just, just green. Here we go, green and purple. We didn't have any clothing on the other one, of course. Nice, I like that. That's a good matching color scheme. Next, um, Ron English, hit me up, bro. Come on, send me something. Let's get in contact. Here we go, another one. Oh, what the hell? I feel like this is a slightly different bag. All right, here we go, we have and this one is the black... Wait, did we get one that was half for this? I don't think we did. I think they've made every single box in uh, this whole case actually be something different. Which was um, impossible to do for the first one. Because they had all these skeleton variations, but it was only with the red hair. But they still had the same amount of boxes. Alright, another father figure. Which one's this? Let's take a look. Ooh! A big cross-cut one. Oh, the base has fallen out there. And you can see the half burgers there on the big ones. They look a little better. I don't like how they do the skeletons on these ones. How they're kind of in like this actual full mold. I would have liked to see some exposed bone. Uh, but here he is. A little bit different, as you can see. I'm sure you've picked up on it by now. But his tag says LA, supersized. Gotta collect them all, guys. Jesus. All right, moving on. Let's try this one out. Wait, this one doesn't have any outer cling wrap on it. Strange, open it up. What do we got? Another gold. Okay, my favorite. I like the vanilla ones more than anything else, I think. Uh, there we go, gold set complete. And of course, the gold father. Gather around him, boys. He's taking you on a fishing trip. We're gonna catch fish fillets. Okay, another one. Here we go, slide it open. Crack open the bag. We have a black hair one. Is this going to be the full vanilla one? That's what I'm looking for. Here we go. Gothic Ronald McDonald. Comment below. I want to see what you think Gothic Ronald McDonald would order from Gothic McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm really reaching now. All right. Two more left. We will take a look at something else after this one before the final one. Here we go, we have the green one, vanilla, yes, there we go, no, not vanilla, <laughs> that kind of scared me for a little bit there, man, he's kind of smooth, green and purple, bone face, Ronald McDonald, okay, we have one more big one to look at, one more box to look at, and also, let's see what this is, secret base, I think these all just came in, I think that's just an ad, there's a little Ronald McDonald up there, an ad for coffee, Atmos Coffee. Uh, so, I think this is like the physical store of Secret Base, or a, a bunch of different stores and things that are in Japan. I'd have to definitely check these places out when I can go next, when Corona allows it. 
Very cool. And we have a couple of stickers here. Secret Base Tokyo. We have Secret Base Ginza. Don't know really what that means. Is that the location? And lastly, laugh and grow fat. Live, laugh, love. No, laugh and grow fat. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, these have my orders on the back. Okay, the final father. Let's see what variation this one is. We have, uh, well, I guess there's a bunch of differences here. He's got black eye triangles and then on his tag, slightly different again. Uh, I don't really like this glitter effect as much as the other ones. This is probably my least favorite big one. But uh, there you go, a slightly transparent Fat Ronald. And let's open up the final box and see what we can get. Of course, finally, green and purple vanilla colorway. I would gladly open up a full case just to get these three. I'm happy. I'm very happy with my purchases here. And now onto a Burning Shadows. We still have two packs left in this three pack. Burning Shadows, trying to do mostly one a video, going for the Rainbow Charizard. As you know, here is a code card for you guys back home. You can put that into the Pokemon Center. I mean the Pokemon card game online and you will get a booster pack. Uh, let's see, Escape Rope Reverse and on the end, Today, just a big old muddy... Oh, forgot to take the energy off. And now I think it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! Uh, today, in my postcard collection, we still have these ones here that we haven't gone through. It looks like we've got a bunch of these 1999 ones, which I'm very interested to look at because I liked uh, the last one that we did. And each of them seems to have the side arc walking down the middle. Flip this one around. Woohoo! These are an absolute joy. Kinda creepy, kinda cool. Bamboo in the background, big fat Pikachu. Cherry blossoms here. His eyes are huge. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you guys next time. Make sure you check out the Paper Mario Let's Play on the gaming channel. And the video after that on the gaming channel is going to be a new Pokemon sword. I'm getting back on the horse. I hope you guys have been liking the posts. Bye bye.